Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making Alaskan cod sausages. Now what you need for it, how to do it and why it's super simple, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously we need Alaska cod, we need dill, we need parsley, we need the zest of a bio lemon, the uh, lemon juice of that bio lemon as well, we need salt and pepper, we need marjoram as well as sausage casings and they've been soaking in lukewarm water for about 20 minutes because they needed to rehydrate. Now with the fish you obviously want to make sure that there's uh, no bones left in them and unfortunately they have some. I've noticed that already when I took them out of the packaging. So get yourself one of those fish tweezers and obviously make sure you take out all those fish bones because you definitely don't want to have them in your sausage afterwards. Now after you're done taking out uh, all the bones from the fish and I suggest that you do that very thoroughly, you want to cut it up into thin little pieces. Um, you don't need to put it through a mincer because otherwise you only get mush. But um, yeah, do it like a tartare style um, and then we're going to mix in all the other ingredients. The fish is currently in the fridge uh, because obviously with fish temperature is quite an important thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take care of the parsley as well as the dill. So I'm going to use my handy little food processor. Um, obviously you can use a knife as well. But if you have one at hand, by all means go right for it. Um, just stuff it in, give it a few spins um, until you have uh, quite a fine consistency. Um, but you can go obviously as coarse or as fine as you like. Uh, now obviously the finer it is, the better it will then mix later on with the fish. So all you basically do is put that all in. And then give it a few spins. And as it is obviously not a whole lot, we can add the dill in one time. And then we will get a nice mix. Then we add in the marjoram, salt, pepper, as well as the zest. Give that a good few spins. And then in the end, the lemon juice. Mix it all up and then we're ready to season our fish. Right, and this is what the final product looks like after you've put um, all the seasonings into the fish. That will now go back in the fridge and we're going to take care of the casings for our sausages. As I said, the casing has been uh, rehydrating sufficiently. So what you need to do is you need to find one of the starting points of it and that can be rather tricky. Um, and then you need to get it onto the filling machine that you see here, you may have seen it on my very first video uh, already when I made regular sausages. So we're going to use the same machine again. Now it is rather tricky to open the casing without tearing it. And what you want to do is you want to obviously have wet hands and you want to make sure that this thing here is wet as well so it can slide on without tearing. Quite some time later, I finally managed to put the casing onto the stuffing machine. Now what you want to do is you want to leave it open right here because we're now going to put the fish into the filler tube and obviously you want to push all the air out before um, you close off the casing. Now there's a little bit of water in here just to uh, reduce the friction and what you want to do is you can tilt it backwards to fill it. You can actually take it out which is rather nice so I can show you that and then what you want to do is you want to grab a good handful and really chuck it in there to make sure that you already push out all the air that you have in there. And because I cut the fish a bit bigger, we should have a nice texture inside the sausage. And we put it back in the machine, clip it in, and start turning the handle 
until we feel that it starts to push the fish into the tube. Now it's starting to come, I can feel it already. And now the great thing about this machine is it has two different gears. So one is a bit slower, even though you're still rotating, and one is a bit faster. So it's now pushing it really hard into the tube, and there we go. Now what you want to do is obviously there might be a bit of loss in the beginning. Just stick it back in, pull the sausage casing over it and tie it, and then pull it back. So what it does then, it will reduce the air that's inside, and then we can start stuffing. And now the sausage is done, now I'm going to clear out whatever is left in here, try to stuff it in as well, and then I'm going to show you the final product. And there you have it guys, 18 lovely Alaska cod sausages. Um, part of them will go into the freezer now and they will stay there for a couple of months, and some of them we will try tonight, and if I have a chance I'll take a picture and I'll put it into the video. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode about the Alaska cod sausages. They were super easy to make and we're going to enjoy them now. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.